students we needed to design the functionality of that to enable it to happen well. So you're looking at one of those functional pieces right now. Uh, we have a sign-in board that we uh, recreated. Um, a lot of the things that uh, needed to happen was students needed to be aware of who was here and who could help. So that was the first thing that we did. Uh, we changed the colors on the walls. Uh, we painted throughout. Uh, we have our logo, we have a class schedule over here. Our front office situation um, was designed so that it would encourage conversations with students. We've redesigned our space and we've currently uh, just doubled it even more so. So a lot of what we're going to be talking about is not only our thoughts behind what we've done so far, but our thoughts about what's coming too. So one of the reasons why I love working at WAVE and why I've been here for nine years is I love the collaboration that staff and students have every day. I've never had so many opportunities to talk and work through problems with staff and students instead of always being driven by content and standards, instead of always being driven by the bell. So that flexibility and that personalization for students is also a huge asset with our staff. Where we're standing right now is ultimately going to be one of our classroom spaces. So WAVE is a, a hybrid program. We offer credit in a variety of ways. We have online curriculum that you can work uh, at your own time 24-7. But students that attend here can work on their own projects with teachers as well. And they have one more opportunity, which is to learn in classroom spaces. So we hold live classes that take about an hour each. We teach uh, pretty much all subjects through those classes. We've had a lot of success with small group classes. And uh, currently we have two classrooms. This will be a third uh, at some point. This will be our largest space. We hope that it's uh, very functional and viable for uh, student learning in terms of live classes. And I think, again, you're seeing a sort of undone product here. So we haven't made these decisions. We're making them together as a team. In our virtual space, we also have dedicated instructors that actually work part-time for our program and are there to support students at night, on the weekends, and basically any times that our lab is not physically open. There are many things that I love about Wade, specifically the ability to meet students where they are and to take them wherever they want to go. Um, it really is teacher-powered, student-powered, and the students just spark to life when they recognize that we are not conforming them to our program. Our program arranges itself to them. So here at WAVE, we also have um, a large population of students who are affected by trauma. Because of that, all of our staff have been trained in trauma-informed instruction. That includes cognitive behavioral therapy techniques, motivational interviewing, small classroom sizes, um, and we also have dedicated counselors and social work staff that work with our students. So because it's a collaborative space that we're all working together, and, and I should add that I, I've never collaborated so much with teachers than at WAVE. Uh, it's, it's an amazing place to do that. Um, working in teams, though, of course, as everybody knows, can be frustrating too, and there are challenges that come with that. One of the things we're looking at as we expand and we're going to have more office spaces soon is just the idea of who sits where and with whom. So um, in the past, we've, uh, for example, been able to collaborate um, special educators with general educators. Um, we've been able to talk about lesson plans uh, in an interdisciplinary way. 
And so we're still kind of thinking through uh, as a team, like what's that going to look like? Uh, should we change these groupings? How do we best uh, collaborate with one another and still have uh, space for meetings and privacy and all those things? So there's a lot to consider, but I think we're doing everything through a lens of how do we collaborate the best and what's actually best to uh, deliver instruction to students. The main thing that I'd like to share with you is that it's, it's such a fantastic place to, to work in uh, as a teacher. And uh, we've had several students uh, revisit us and revisit the space and tell us um, what a great opportunity it was for them uh, to be here and learn with us. And the, the thing that I think is making the difference is we're working together in terms of uh, teachers making decisions. And when we're doing that, ultimately by extension, it's, it's for students because that's my lens. I'm thinking about how do students experience a space and how do we set it up for them to give them the best opportunity and to uh, help them grow. Uh, I think it helps for people that have different schedules, like there's a lot of people that are morning people or afternoon people, so I think that works better in terms of when you can do things, depending on how you're feeling that certain day. Just in general, how the schedule's a lot lighter and not as, you know, stress taken, a lot easier to attend and not as much problems. I like seeing my friends getting help with the teachers when I need it, but yeah, and plus, when you need help, the teachers is really there for you to ask, and they always are there to help and they give you computers, and you can use your computers to contact their teachers from home whenever you need them, like the help, you know? So yeah, way is pretty cool. I already like this school, it's a nice school. We learn and we try to help students recognize how they, their family, our staff, and everyone connected is affected by their growth and our purpose. So when they see our purpose move toward making them a better human being, they then say, okay, I'm buying into this. And their family buys into this. And we buy into it. And we hope you will too. Thanks so much. Hope to see you again. We have a lot of work to do. We are hoping to welcome students into this beautiful space within the next couple of months. And if you're ever in Ypsilanti, we would love to show you the final finished product.